Hey friend, just wanted to let you know that the algorithm is really, really helping a lot. Yeah. Yeah, talk later. talk reaction this one's for psych season one episode number 10 don't forget to like and subscribe hit the notification bell as well tell a friend to tell a friend it is only continually making the algorithm the best that it can be thank you all right a couple comments from the last episode starting with executive producer jeremy who says i enjoyed this episode i like the guest appearance from kurtwood smith and ashley williams and i thought the case was interesting i also thought it was a very funny episode and i like that they got a little more serious dealing with kurtwood's character having alzheimer's mm -hmm. overall i definitely thought it was an improvement on the previous episode which i wasn't a huge fan of except for the george part anyway i'm glad you both enjoyed the episode i look forward to the next one and i hope your month is going well and things aren't too stressful for you both Oh, thanks, Jeremy. Appreciate it. It's been a rough month, yeah. but we're we're almost to the end. Yeah. All right. Then we got Lex, who says, "I like that. For now, the show has made it into your rotation. I think echo echoing a lot of the comments from earlier episodes, the show definitely takes some time to grow into itself. But there are lots of really great moments once it hits its stride. Honestly, the only reason I continued to watch through and past the first season was because I grew up in the city right next to the one that psych the psych office is located in. Many of their scenes are filmed there too. Which, for anyone wondering, is white." Rock, British Columbia, Canada. Okay. Oh, that's not California. Oh, wow. Good to know. Okay. For me, half the fun is picking out places I visited or restaurants that used to be there. I'm glad I had this in induce inducement because the later seasons made it well worth it. I will also say that as an avid true crime consumer and mystery TV show watcher, the crimes never really are that exciting or hard to figure out for me, but one of the ways I made it a little bit more fun while watching was trying to guess the evidence that they were going to conveniently find and prove once yeah. and for all this was the killer criminal. The Whoa. Sean and Guest romance is really the star of the series. Love the reaction and appreciate all your hard work. Don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend. It's helping the algorithm. There you go. Thanks, Lex. Appreciate it. Great comments. All right, let's get into Psych. Episode 10, right now. Jesus. No, you don't need to put back to those extra candy bars that you just picked up. Dad, you don't understand. I can't put back one of these. That'd be like saying one of these candy bars is less worthy than the others. And I can't play those kinds of favorites. All right, fine. Enjoy your dilemma. In the meantime, don't drag that in. I'm going to get drinks. <laughs> Two vodka sodas. I've just decided I am going to experience life. You know, trying things. I signed up for a painting class today. You know they make the kind of paint you can eat now. And I'm <laughs> giving a focus for my job. So. Can I ask you a question? Anything. Did you just get out of a relationship? How did you know? It's wild, guys. Was it, uh, today? Yesterday. Are you sure you should be out dating already? Yes, of course. Yeah, you're was... damn. You I know. Can you take on. some time for yourself? Yeah. Yeah. And the stupid thing is that everything was going really well, you know, and then you started getting all weird last month. Lying, going through my stuff, my address book, my jewelry. Finally, is Friday, he, date? he tells me he's going to watch the game as a friend. A worker of mine spots him over the Eastland Center. He may not accept it yet, but we are definitely finished. <laughs> I hope you don't uh, no. you, know. <laughs> you need time. Uh, I usually yeah. prefer. But not in this case. No. Primarily because he's not cheating. Mm. Look, he took your jewelry because he's trying to figure out your ring size. He took you to Tiffany's to buy that fancy necklace because he's really trying to scout out what kind of smells and settings are. What about last Friday? Oh, come on. The Eastland Center? There's no bars or clubs there. He wasn't there with a the chick. He's probably in the north side of the parking lot. Robin's Brothers picking up the ring. My address book? Call your parents and ask for your hand. You done it right. You think I should call him? I'll let you be the psychic on that one. Mm. Right? Yeah, I, I need you to tell me the truth. If you lie to me, we will never speak again. Do you understand? About five. Matter of fact, I spelled mine with a K. But he's... Two of them. He 
he's trying to make sure he gets all the credit, right? Oh, Great. Right. Is there anything you're uh, leaving out? Maybe something that's uh, slipped your mind. Something you're not telling me because it may embarrass and or shame you. Could be vital. I know this probably isn't true, but I started to suspect that he was cheating on you. Well, yes. How did you know? He shot in the dark. The long hours. He was consumed with his work. He was different. Distant. I don't even like to say it out loud. Please, don't. Brian wasn't really the type. We were planning a future. He wanted to drive for a baby. He was a good man. Thanks again for coming in, Mary. No problem with Carl Carlton. We uncover anything? Carlton? Yes, Carlton, with a K. Two Ks. The second was silent. May I speak to you privately in your office? Could Carlton? Could Carlton? Could Carlton? Could Carlton? Thanks. What are you doing reopening the Valerie case? Reopening? Come on, that word has so many syllables. That case turned out to be a case, despite the technical last year's best efforts. Now, I need a whole lot of an explanation from you, because all of you do make me laugh occasionally. Impersonating an officer Impersonating an officer, please. I told that woman I was in accounts payable. Sean, come clean. I would like to solve this case for last year. He'll never allow it. That's why he can't know I'm involved. I figure I can guide him through this thing, right? Build him up. Get him back on his feet again. You're serious? Why? I just feel like he really needs this. I mean, look at him. Okay, I'm in. Who what? What do you got? This is like a very selfless thing, Gus is yeah. I mean, uh, well, Sean is doing. He's saying how vulnerable he was. Yeah, right? but like normally he, that wouldn't. You know, you yeah, wouldn't think it would phase him. So, yeah. so he's always home, and he always answers his phone if two rings. This is actually somewhat troubling. Why? Why? Fish derby's on. What is this? It's the Bryant Valerie case. The one from this morning? And the rest of the week. That's it, me stuff, Sean. Dude, that's weird. It's like you're, it's like you're bobbling. Tail again? I mean, you're in a parking lot and you can just stand there one yeah. quick. <laughs> you're gonna try to bob and weave. That's not how you lose somebody. Yeah. This is, not, this is not it. So I'm not gonna park there. I'm gonna park here. And I'm gonna come on a different day. Yeah. Not Thursday. I just got a tracker on this car. Excuse me. I have an annual pass on it. <laughs> oh, sorry, sir. Didn't see you standing there. You know, being so stealth like. Being so stealth like. <laughs> the jackal has arrived. The jackal has arrived. <laughs> what are you doing, Sean? What are we doing? You're not Thursday. You're not in the cover. Sure we are. I'm the employee. You're the customer. I am the customer. See, you're already in character like Don Cheadle. I'm not involved with this case. I only need like you for Don Cheadle. Like when Kaniki needed Danny Zuko. And you get to be Travolta in the analogy. Tomorrow they're training me on the motion simulator. Tell me you've never wanted to take a ride on one of those things buck naked. No, I haven't. Sure you have. I'm only here for a few minutes anyway. That's all I need. Look, there's this creepy janitor that lurks about. I want you to distract uh, him while I grill Planetarium. He's hitting you will not grill Jessica. She's just interning you until she gets her college units. Jessica? Like yeah. That's why you How do you know her name is Jen? <gasps> oh, Gus. What? You haven't been coming here on Thursdays to study the stars. You've been coming here for her. Do you love her? Shut up, Sean. You're in love with her. Shut up, Sean. Let me go hook you guys up. No, Sean. She's my coworker, and I have the inside track. Listen, there are ways to go about doing this. You don't just walk up to somebody at their place of employment and start working them over. You gotta have a plan. Would you believe that I didn't want to hurt your feelings? Aww. Have a great Can you believe that I didn't want to hurt your feelings? Goodbye. You kid. You kid.
That was episode 10 of Psych, and I thought it was a, it was a lovely episode. It was cute. I mean, it was meaningful. It was a good emotional episode for uh, uh, the detective. Lassiter. The Lassiter, yeah. That was nice that they all chipped in together to help him solve that one case that just kept bugging him. Um, it is very weird, though, that he's, uh, um, when he drinks, he can't remember shit. So he's, he's really not good at drinking at all. But I'm glad that that was the case. That was some opening up that he did to Sean and... Uh, I, I like the way it went with it. Um, the mystery was 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 pretty good. I like the the solving on it um, with the flower, and then uh, Sean and his dad. I mean, that was a nice little interesting one they threw in there. That was you know, that was um, I don't know eye opening for that, so you can understand where Sean coming from in relationship with his dad. So I thought it was a, it was a cute episode, man. It was it was heartfelt for Lassiter. So I'm glad they got to solve it, and he can move on now with being a little bit more happier moving forward. Yeah, so I thought, um, similar, I thought it was cute as well. I think it was a good character development episode, specifically for Sean, um, Sean's relationship to Lasseter. I feel like this was the first episode that Sean had a lot of empathy, um, and I was honestly like, is he faking? <laughs> like, is yeah. he gonna, like, flip the script? But he was consistent all the way through, and I love that it was Sean that initiated that whole thought process to give Lasseter uh, a leg up, so to speak, and get him back his confidence was kind of shook and he was really down so I thought that was just really endearing and showed a lot of uh, Sean's character that we haven't seen thus far so I thought that was great as always the Gus and Sean dynamic was, were highlights too um, and then lastly the uh, seeing uh, Sean's dad kind of open up and have empathy in return for Sean I thought was really great and telling like maybe he got it from his dad you know which we don't see a lot of empathy in their relationship either so I, I just thought from a character development standpoint um, it was a really refreshing episode in that way to see a different nuances in those dynamics so it was great looking forward to yeah. the next one all right, well, look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Psych Season 1, Episode 10. And until next time, people, peace.